What is up everyone? We just got a game-changing update in Dragonair Silent Gods and I'm gonna explain you everything that you need to know about it in today's video. The devs actually confirmed more QOL changes in the near future and honestly, I'm all in for it. Now this has been requested for a little while because the game is not that old, right? And I'm glad to see that they are actually acting on it so fast. This will make the grind less tedious and we do have a brand new currency in game as well, but I'm gonna explain you everything that you need to know about it right now. So the new currency, guys, if you have been playing Raid Shadow Legends and you are familiar with the super raids, will work exactly the same. So instead of doing one dungeon run in one go, you can do double for the cost of two runs. So it's not like it's going to cost you one run for two runs. It's not working like that. But you will have a small currency that uh, you're going to uh, win from events and tournaments. And no, that is not replacing any of the previous rewards, guys. Instead. It has been added at the very beginning right here and it's called Multiplicative Challenge Ticket. Plus, we got a few, a few of them for free now. Keep in mind, this will double your runs. One ticket for a dungeon run will be the equivalent of two dungeon runs, but you're still going to pay 30 stamina instead of the 15. It will just allow you to farm the dungeons faster. And that's an awesome, awesome thing. But that brings me to my next point, And this is not something that uh, it's mentioned in the patch notes. I think they really need to give us more stamina, guys. And not because, my God, the stamina will break the game or anything like that. Because we want to farm more dungeons. We want to be able to uh, level up more champions, improve more teams, play around with more champions, enjoy, enjoy the game even more, have more fun. And at the same time, farm some more gear to have better gear for our teams and improve our damage overall in most of the areas. So I really think that moving forward, the devs should consider... to a method on how we can actually earn more stamina, you know? It's not a necessity for them to necessarily increase the, the refresh time of the stamina. Instead, I would rather just get more stamina from events, you know? Like, just give us four or five of the big pots of, of stamina refills per, uh, per tournament, per event. And even though it's not double of what we're getting already, it's still a 25-30% increase in stamina. And that makes such a big difference. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys think? Do you think we should get more stamina in Dragonair Silent Gods just to be able to enjoy the game more and play it more, right? I think we do. Then we have another thing right here in the patch notes. So this is about the uh, currency that I just showed you guys. Basically, it will enable you to do double the runs, but I'm going to show you how that works, of course. Uh, it will consume the tickets. You're going to have to select that yourself. I'm going to show you that as well. Then battle fast forward feature travelers can now enable the fast forward feature in most battles and finish them at higher speed up to 10x speed from 2x guys absolutely game changing because this is what will make the grind less tedious and is amazing especially in the areas that uh, is active at the moment now is not active in dungeons is not active uh, active in the vortex for the moment but the devs confirmed that this will come in the near future. So that is amazing, especially for the Vortex, because a lot of the times you're uh, trying to max your damage, you're doing multiple runs, you're trying to test different teams, and having the ability to go on 10x speed is absolutely game-changing. So I'm looking forward to see it in the Vortex as well, but for the moment, we're going to have it in the Pillar of Trials and in the Fame Mander. And I'm going to explain you why it's so good in these areas, guys, because it is game-changing, especially that it takes you so long to farm three waves in the Pillar of Trials, right? Like some, some of the runs are three, four, five minutes, you know? Then you go in the Fame Mander. Uh, it's enough that you got to walk from map to map to map, from area to area, and then fight the, the enemies too. It takes a lot, of, uh, a lot of time. And I feel like it takes a lot of time that can be used better in, uh, in different areas, you know? Like I can go and play Arena instead, or I can go and do something else that I enjoy more than just walking around or looking at the screen how the enemies are fighting for five minutes. So take battles against bosses like Fungal Spider uh, Mother in Feymander as an example. In such a highly challenging and attention-demanding battle, each second counts. As a result, this is not available in these battles. And I totally agree. There are some battles where you really need to pay attention to what you're doing and you really need to time your heroes properly. So I'm fine if that doesn't work. But as long as it works on the waves and the rest, it's going to be massive. So... We believe this form of fast forward will effectively guarantee the strategic experience rather than directly skip a whole battle, which would possibly result in a loss of battle information. 
I agree. We don't need to skip the battle because, hey, if it, if it takes uh, less time to do it, 10x time less to do it, basically, I'm, I'm all in for it. Then, of course, they fixed some of the bugs. Yesterday, we had some uh, issues. I mean, the whole week, we had some issues with the world bosses. And the good part is that for whoever is on these servers, they've put everyone as rank one on the leaderboard, which is a massive boost for every single free-to-play player out there because you're getting more uh, essence to be able to purchase the legendary hero from the event, you know? So it's a, it's a massive thing. I'm glad that they actually decided to do that because it shows that they care about their leaderboards. They care about uh, having fair play in the game. And that's honestly such a good thing to see. I'm coming from Raid Shadow Legends, guys, okay? It took us over one year to stop the cheating in Arena. It took us such a long time to get Super Raids and we still don't have 10x speed in the game after five years. They just don't want to do it. They don't really care about competitive uh, gaming at all. They don't care about their leaderboards being fair, fair play. So seeing this acting uh, acted upon so quick, it really, it really, really makes me feel like, yeah, this, this is a great, a great stuff from, for the devs, and they do care about what's happening in their game. You know, I'm not trying to kind of like uh, just put them in a in a holy light or anything, but it's just a very good thing. You know, so. They gave us uh, the essence for the boss, like we actually ranked the number one for all of us. Plus, we got a lot of uh, a lot of uh, other uh, other rewards. But I'm gonna show you right here. So check it out. This it put me on the first place basically for all of us. Ten thousand Echo of Clepsydra. Okay, this is massive as well on its own. Then you have the ten uh, Lunar Halo shards. You have twenty Affinity Solvent. Very very good stuff to to see it. Uh, John had some issues and. Uh, the the necro boss had some issues too you know because uh vitar was doing crazy crazy damage on it but that being said let me just quickly show you how the new update works guys so we're gonna go on the pillar of trials on level 37 and uh let's see what uh, what we have right here let's load the gear on my team and let's see how we activate the 10x speed look at this fast forward is available for this battle let's put it on you can switch between different play speeds in the list okay and I, if I stop the animations, it's going to be even faster. Look at that. They move so fast. Huh? <laughs> That's actually super, super good. That we are able to just knock it down so much faster. You see, first wave dead. Instead of staying there for one minute and a half, we've done it in like, what, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, something like that. And it makes such a big difference. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you a fan of this? I would definitely like to see it in the vortex. I feel like that's the main thing where they should add it next. It's not as important in dungeons as in the vortex, in my opinion, because you can start your dungeon runs with your multi battles and uh, just let it uh, let it there in the background. But of course, it would be nice to have it in the dungeons as well, because uh, especially if you're free to play and you don't purchase the monthly pack, you don't have as many uh, multi battles. You're just gaining some from uh, events and some from uh, the alliance. Seems like we just got wrecked here, which is fine. The main point was to show you that uh, this works, works great. And another thing that I want to show you now is uh, for the Fey Mander. Now, one of the reasons why I'm always behind on the Fey Mander is because it takes so much time and it's pretty tedious to just wait this long to do it. It does take you a lot of time to do it. Like whenever I'm pushing it, I feel like one, two hours are, are going by and I'm still nowhere, okay? I'm still barely halfway through through the stages because it takes a it takes a lot of time so now being able to just uh, jump from uh, enemy to enemy like this and farming them so fast instead i feel like it's just such a such a better better thing to have you know let's see it uh, around here fast forward on is it okay there we go that should be on now you can see them they're moving like like uh, they had a lot of red bulls you know this is only one wave, okay? But you have multiple ones to go and fight. And for me, it's just the walking from enemy to enemy, teleport from this gate to that gate and come back and go there to get a chest. I feel like it's just such a maze that it's constantly just pushing you back and forward. But look at that. You snap your finger and the stage is done. Now, let me show you how the other part works in dungeons. I do feel like that is uh, actually pretty nice too. Having the super rates, that as well, it will uh, enable you to save uh, to save some time. So we're gonna go all the way to the grave of uh, of Venom right here. So it will only work when you are doing, I think, multi battles. But I might be wrong on it. 
So you go to Quick Battle right here, and you see you have Stamina Cost Multiplier, 1x, 2x, and it's using your uh, Multiplicative Challenge Ticket. So we're going to do Battle Attempt 1, and let's challenge it. I do wish that uh, we will have the 10x speed too, but from what I understood, that is coming soon, so I'm more than, uh, I'm more than happy to know that they are working on it, you know. Probably it might be some coding coding uh, challenge in there. I'm not 100% sure because I'm not a game developer or anything, but I'm, I'm positive that they will be sorting this out as well in the, in the near future. Of course, we do need a lot of different things, guys. Dragonair, uh, very similar with any other game out there, is not perfect, okay? And uh, yeah, I would love to see some more champion rebalance. That's something they haven't done from Season 1 to Season 2. Uh, I would like to... To see the vortex loot being uh, being a bit improved, the daily login rewards being improved, you know, and I just hope that slowly they will be working on more uh, more things like this, you know. I feel like most of the games when they start, they just not uh, spot on with all these things, and it's kind of like a learning curve for uh, the developers as well. They want to see what uh, the players want. They want to test their own methods and their own uh, ideas before they kind of like uh, moving to towards the more regular stuff i would say you know because it became regular to have better daily login rewards and stuff in any game nowadays you know and here we go we've done one run but we are getting the loot for two of them so you may notice they have actually like a blue icon showing you that this came actually from the second run so we got two pairs of gloves crit ray gloves and flat defense as usual we got the materials that's how this new update works guys so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm definitely a fan. Looking forward to more QOL changes in Dragonair Silent Gods. Appreciate every single one of you guys watching. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.